Welcome to the Accessing and Navigating Ohio Buys for Existing Suppliers training course. Prior to beginning this course, please note a supplier is a business or organization that is fully registered to do business with the state, while a bidder is a business or organization that wants to respond to an opportunity to do business with the state and is not currently a fully registered state supplier. New bidders need to complete the bidder registration process in order to log into Ohio Buys. Please refer to the Accessing and Navigating Ohio Buys for New Bidders course for details. Here is a list of topics that will be covered in this course. Course Introduction Lesson 1 Accessing Ohio Buys Lesson 2 General Navigation and Account Management And Course Summary Course Introduction After completing this course, you will be able to Access and navigate Ohio Buys to view your organization's contracts, catalogs, and orders And, manage your organization's Ohio Buys account and contacts The following key changes will be useful to help you understand today's course on accessing and navigating Ohio Buys Every bidder and or supplier contact needs his or her own OHID to access Ohio Buys. Supplier administrators are able to manage their company's account, which includes managing contacts and selecting commodities. Lesson 1. Accessing and Navigating Ohio Buys In order to access Ohio Buys, every bidder or supplier contact must have an assigned role and an OHID. An OHID is a secure, single sign-on that provides users access to online services for multiple State of Ohio systems. The following rules dictate how bidders and suppliers use OHIDs to access Ohio buys. A valid OHID is required for each bidder or supplier contact. And, each user must provide a valid email address and password to request and create an OHID. We will now demonstrate how to create an OHID. Navigate to supplier-emarketplace.ohio.gov and click Login. Click Sign Up. Click Continue. Fields with an asterisk are mandatory. Please enter your first name, last name, email, work phone number, and date of birth. Complete the verification question. Agree to the terms and conditions. Click Next. Enter your desired username and password. Follow the on-screen guidelines for guidance on selecting a username and password. Choose your password recovery methods. We recommend setting up at least two methods to give you flexibility in resetting your own password. Click Create Account to complete the process. We will now demonstrate how to access Ohio Buys as an existing supplier. Navigate to supplier marketplaceohiogovernor and then click Login. Enter your OHID username and password and then click Login. Upon logging in, you are brought to the home page of Ohio Buys. If you are unable to log in, please contact your supplier administrator to ensure you have been listed as a contact and have an assigned role. If no contacts are associated with your organization, please contact Ohio Shared Services to have a contact added. This concludes the demonstration on logging in as an existing supplier. Knowledge Check 1. True or False. All bidder and supplier contacts need to create an OHID in order to gain access to Ohio buys. This statement is true. All Ohio buys users need to create an OHID in order to gain access. Knowledge Check 2. Multiple choice. Which of the following statements is not true regarding accessing Ohio buys? Option A. 
Every bidder and or supplier contact needs his or her own OHID to access Ohio buys. Option B. New bidders can complete the bidder registration process to access Ohio buys. Option C. Existing suppliers need to submit a bidder registration request in order to access Ohio buys. Option D. Suppliers can access Ohio buys from the supplier portal. Option C is not true. Existing suppliers do not need to submit a bidder registration request in order to access Ohio buys. Lesson 2. General Navigation and Account Management. In the next demonstration, we will walk through the following navigation tools. Home page navigation. Navigational icons. Main menu navigation. Universal search. Page elements and tool tips. And, account settings. We will now demonstrate how to navigate Ohio Buys. This is the home page of Ohio Buys. Regardless of the page that you are on, there will always be a page name displayed on the upper left hand side of the page. On the right side of the page is the validations window, which shows any pending actions or tasks that the state has sent you. Clicking on the object hyperlink will open a task so you can take action on it. You are also able to see the number of in-progress solicitations, active orders, and pending invoices. Clicking any of these icons will navigate you to its associated page. On the left side of the page, there are three icons, Company Profile, Import Catalog, and Orders. Clicking any of these icons will navigate you to its associated page. Let's navigate to our company profile. Pages in Ohio Buys are often split across multiple tabs. To view a different tab, click on the name of the tab you wish to view. Updating information on the company information page will be discussed in detail in the next demo. There are three navigational icons on the upper left-hand corner of each page. The back arrow icon, which returns you to the previous page. The history icon, which allows you to view your previously viewed pages. And the favorites icon, which enables you to create shortcut links to frequently visited pages. At the top of every page are six main menu navigation options. General Info, which displays your organization's profile information and allows you to manage the various contacts in your organization. Sourcing, which displays any solicitations you have been invited to as well as any solicitations you have submitted responses for. Catalogs, which allows you to view and manage the various hosted catalog items you offer. Orders, which allows you to view the various Ohio buys orders for your organization. Invoicing, which displays any invoices you have created. And, performance, which displays any exceptions and or improvement plans the state has created for your organization. You can click on any of these options to display its associated drop-down menu. Select an option to navigate to a desired page. We have navigated to the Acknowledge Orders page. On the right side of the page is the Universal Search field. You can enter search terms into this field to quickly search across all of Ohio buys. Search results are grouped by type and selecting a result will navigate you to the associated page. If you are listed as a contact for multiple supplier locations, you will see a drop-down menu to the right of your name which will allow you to toggle between the various supplier locations you are associated with. Please note, contacts, orders, and solicitations are managed at the location level, not the supplier level, so it is recommended you routinely check all of the locations you have access to. If you believe you do not have access to all of the necessary locations for your organization, please contact your supplier administrator. In addition, the location information for your organization is managed in the supplier portal at supplier.ohio.gov. On the upper right-hand side of the page, your name is displayed. Clicking on your name displays the user options drop-down menu. This consists of four options. My profile, 
which allows you to view your personal account profile where you can update your account settings. My Pending Validations, which contains anything assigned to you for action. For example, acknowledging purchase orders. My Scheduled Tasks, which displays open scheduled tasks that have been assigned to you. For example, any tasks assigned as part of an improvement plan. And Logout. It is recommended that you do not use the Logout option to log out of Ohio Buys. If you would like to log out, close your browser window. In addition, you will also be logged out after 20 minutes of inactivity. Let's navigate to the My Profile page. On this page, you can update your account information such as your phone, position, or address. Please note that while you are navigating Ohio Buys, any mandatory fields are indicated with an asterisk. If you make updates on a particular page, click the Save button. This concludes the demo on general navigation skills. Once a new bidder has completed the bidder registration process or an existing supplier has logged into Ohio Buys, they are able to manage their company's account, which includes managing contacts, selecting commodities, and indicating counties your company serves. Supplier administrators are able to manage the contacts associated with their company's Ohio Buys account. When a contact is added to their company's account, they are able to assign that contact the following roles. 1. Supplier Admin, who can manage your organization's account and upload hosted item catalogs. 2. Order Contact, who can acknowledge orders the state places in Ohio buys. 3. Contract Contact, who can be assigned by the state as a primary point of contact for a particular contract and be invited to participate in solicitations. Please note you should assign users the order contact role if they are responsible for order processing. Only users assigned the order contract role will be shown to state buyers as supplier contacts when they are submitting orders. We will now demonstrate how to manage your account. From the home page of Ohio Buys, click the company profile icon. Your company's information is displayed. On the right side of the page, you can see the address associated with the supplier location you are viewing. To view a different location, click on your organization's name in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and select an option from the display drop-down menu. Navigate to the Contacts tab. The internal contacts associated with your supplier location are displayed as well as any state contacts that are associated with your organization. To add a new contact, click Create New Supplier Contact. Enter the contact's first name, last name, email, and phone. In addition, you can also provide other details such as their position and address. Click Save and Close. The contact has been added. Select a role or roles for the contact, as each contact must have an assigned role and OHID to access Ohio Buys. Please note you should assign users the order contact role if they are responsible for order processing. Click Save. Click the mail icon to send the user an invitation to log in. The user who has been added as a contact must then create an OHID with the email address that was entered in Ohio Buys. Once you have added a contact to a particular location, you can add that contact to another location by toggling over to the desired location, navigating to the Contacts tab of your company profile, and clicking the Select Existing Contact button. After the contact has been added to the desired location, you must then assign their role or roles. Navigate to the Additional Information tab. On this tab, you can update the commodities your organization offers. Click the selector icon to begin searching for commodities. Click See All. 
Enter search terms in the keywords field. Please note, Ohio Buys uses UNSPSC commodity codes. For a complete list of commodity codes, please navigate to unspsc.org. Click search. Search results are highlighted in orange. Click the arrow icon to jump to the next result. In this example, we want to add footwear and sewing supplies and accessories, so we will click the hand icon for each commodity group. We recommend clicking the hand icon instead of the checkbox icon to select commodities, as this selects the entire group of commodities and ensures you receive all potentially relevant solicitation invitations. Click Close. You are also able to indicate demographic information on this tab. Click Save. You are also able to upload documents for the state on the Documents and Certifications tab as needed. This concludes the demo on Account Management. Knowledge Check 3 True or False A bidder and or supplier account can have multiple supplier administrators. This statement is true. Having at least two supplier administrators is recommended for each account. Course Summary Now that you are familiar with accessing and navigating Ohio Buys, take a moment to note the following key takeaways. In order to access Ohio Buys, every bidder or supplier contact must have an assigned role, for example, order contact, and an OHID. Supplier administrators are able to manage their company's account, which includes managing contacts and selecting commodities. Contacts, orders, and solicitations are managed at the location level, not the supplier level. However, you will receive email notifications whenever you have been invited to participate in a solicitation or have received a new order. You should now be able to Access and navigate Ohio Buys to view your organization's contracts, catalogs, and orders. And, manage your organization's Ohio Buys account and contacts. Thank you for taking this course. If you have any questions, please email Ohio Shared Services at Ohio.gov or call 1 877 644 6771.